Hi there, Leo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo for the week of the 16th. This one doesn't resonate. Check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically Moon and Emotions and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You probably want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We're looking at the overall energy. I'm going to pull cards for your person, clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want your own reading, I'm doing the $20 readings. You can find that info down below. If you want the extended, click the join button. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. Okay. We've got the six of wands here. Very much a Leo card. In the reverse is a sense of defeat. It could be ignoring someone. Um, feeling like this relationship is over. It's never going to go anywhere. Um, three of swords can sometimes mean a heartbreak or a heartache, disappointment in love, sadness. Um, not, not the best energy so far. We've got the two of wands in reverse. So two of wands is often a long distance relationship card that's possible here. It's also about like long term decisions, long term paths for yourself, which direction you want to go in. In the reverse, you may be questioning whether or not this relationship is going to go anywhere or like where you see yourself going. Um, it's kind of the big picture sort of a, a question here with that card and the high priestess major for Pisces. So one or both of you can have Pisces in your chart. This is also like leaning into your intuition. Um, sometimes it's dealing with someone who's silent and quiet or even if you are speaking with this person, what needs to be said is not being said. It's like, you know, ignoring the elephant in the room. Um, so let's kind of see what your person's up to and we'll see what the energy is. All right, this is the Lightseer's Tarot. I'm gonna be using the Radiant Wise Tarot to clarify. At the end, I'll pull cards for how your person feels about you as well as something that they're thinking. The world is also a long distance card. It's Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. So this is one of your major arcana. It also indicates unfinished business or something that hasn't completed. The lessons haven't been learned. Uh, this isn't over kind of a card. So what is going on with your person? Well, all right. We have the Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy there. So you have two Taurus cards here so far. Also major arcana, so big shifts in energy. The Empress is very much like growth and expansion. You can also see the world here, just like the world that showed up earlier. There was a globe on the other card. So again, there could be a long distance vibe here. Or there's like a big distance between the two of you. They think the world of you. So what? <laughs> okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Hold on. So, okay, that's more of your energy here. The Wheel is also Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. It's about fate, destiny, good luck, good fortune. I think this person is meant to be on your path. There could have been a lesson to learn here from this relationship that maybe you haven't learned. Um Things are kind of quiet and there's kind of like this sense of defeat. There could have been a, been like a breakup here, but it isn't over. Uh, this cycle hasn't completed yet. All right. Well, what is going on with this person? Okay, yeah. We have the Six of Cups. Um, that is a soul recognition or a soul tie card. You could have known this person since childhood. You could have a child with this person, given the Empress showing up here. Or you will have a child in the future with this person. Um, I'm tending to think like this is a soulmate of some sort. Or a soul tie here. I think this person's meant to be on your path. Yeah. We have the emperor. Okay, so the emperor and the empress are the divine masculine and the divine feminine. They're a complement. They sometimes serve as court cards. So if you had two court cards from the same suit together, 
we would say like there's there's the divine pairing here like the two of you are meant to be um i think together the two of you have a completion there's probably lessons to be learned here this person's on your path for a reason what's going on here well it would help if i didn't fling cards everywhere I, I do think that this is a very difficult relationship. I do think maybe things haven't flowed as easily as they should, and yet you feel this pull to the person, and it's like hard to break away from. We've got the Queen of Wands. There you are. Um, Queen of Wands is Leo energy. It's Sag. It's Aries. You can see that she has this black cat. She's usually pictured with a black cat. This is wanting to take action towards you, or this person has fire in their chart, or they just simply feel this attraction, this spark for you, along with the Five of Swords. Um, they're in their head about this. There's conflict here. Um, this is by no means over. I think you already know this, if this is your reading. There's just simply too much of a tie between the two of you. Hold on. So what is going on with this person? got the strength card there there you are you're all over this person's energy strength card can also mean someone who holds back from you um or it's someone who's boldly approaching you whatever it is it takes strength it takes fortitude I'm trying to look for a synonym here okay we have the queen of cups here and we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse is someone coming back in out of the cold. They've missed you. They want to be with you. They, they're realizing that they can do something about this. Queen of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, specifically Cancer. Uh, this is someone making you a love offer, giving you that cup, being emotionally invested in you, um, using their intuition here. One or both of you can have some water here. This connection isn't done. They're going to be breaking the silence. They're, they're coming back around. They feel this soul connection just as much as you do. Maybe even more. Just They're showing up. You're showing up in their energy here. Eight of Wands. Expect some movement or action being taken by them. They're going to be reaching out here. All right, let's do feelings as well as something that this person's thinking. All right, so how does this person currently feel about you? Five of cups here, Scorpio energy. They have oh, some regrets, wishing they had done things differently here. They're looking back at the past. You have two cards of the past showing up here. What is something that they're thinking? Leaving you hurt me too. They didn't like walking away. I've been here before with others. I left when I saw you with someone. There could have been another party here or this person perceived another party. They could have even done that thing where like they push you to leave them by their behavior instead of actually handling it themselves. I don't really know you. I'm starting to understand our connection. Um, this is giving me like runner chaser vibes. Maybe someone who doesn't really know themselves very well. Um, who's trying to figure out like the significance of this connection. There is a tie that binds here. They haven't gotten over this, even though I do think it probably scares them. <sighs> Got your hands full. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, click the join button. We're going to be doing feelings, intentions, the advice, and the unknown. And if you would like a $20 reading, uh, you can find all that below as well. All right. Blessed be.